application for Brian Weaver House for a wedding reception on May 25th. So, if we have a pretty standard here, we've done quite a few of these. Anybody want to make a motion to um, accept that? I'm going to make a motion to accept the special license for Weaver House Recreation. Yes. Pam. Yes. Arlene. Yes. And Don. Yes. So then we have on the agenda a possibility of a new mower for the maintenance department. Um, I'll try to run through this real fast. It is a consideration. The old deck is in pretty bad shape. So uh, Larry told me they were running about half speed and um, pretty well a lot of things that was worked on last year. So we put Colleen out there on the telephone and down the trail and she got some quotes for, um, from different trades if we trade this one in. Um, at this time she's got four. Most of the mowers that are on a 72 inch deck run somewhere between $20,000 and $25,000. They're not cheap. So then you take a look at how much they give us for the old one and that ran from anywhere from 7,000 to 11,000. So there's some variances there. Um, I had the bright idea that maybe we could put a backhoe on one of those if it was big enough and we could do some of the digging that we need to do you know, around town to grab the ditches to clean out and so forth. So I invested that, gated that little bit and he said, well, with that small attractor, then you gotta have the front end loader to hold it down. So you know, you're, it's, it's the tractor we're looking at too little for the back of it, too big for the, you know. So it looks like we're down to try to make it equitable for the moment. Then I need to mention this because I, it is just a discussion and you guys say you need to speak up with all your ideas, but Larry and I were talking just this morning and our need for a pickup is probably more than for the moment. So we're still doing some investigating. Um, that poor old pickup just doesn't get driven out of town. And, you know, those guys are drive riding on springs, I think you'll see. And so it needs some updating also. So that's in the works, okay? We also need to find out what's in the budget for replacement of maintenance and so forth. And we're still working on all of those figures to get put into um, an, an equitable chart. Okay, then, so we're going to table that and move on. Then we need to look at the QuickBooks and QuickBooks situation. We have two people in the office. We need two people in the office. And in order for that to be um, equitable and efficient, both of the people there need to be able to work with the clerk books, um, bookkeeping system. So we did a bit of investigating and as you know, um, we had Eddie, who wrote, who wrote the court book thing out here for almost a whole day trying to help us get this um, revamped and where we set things up a little better. In order to get both computers, we have to link the computers, and Kalina, correct me if I get wrong information here. We have to link the, the computers, and then we have to make sure that the QuickBooks that is the base for the clerk books is sufficient to do what we want it to do. And that, and that costs us an upgrade every year, and we've known that. We've already paid for an upgrade, but if we want to put two in, we would have to bring those together and upgrade again, is that correct? Mm -hmm. And then the um, clerk books, we would need to license that second computer. Did I kind of yes. summarize sum it right? Okay. Um, so we do have, find those figures, those are in here. Um, There they are. Um, the QuickBooks update in order to run this is for one user is 1502 a year, and the two users is, <laughs> we got a decimal wrong place, 22, uh, 22 19 50, okay? Now they've given us a 20% um, 20 discount forever, somehow that's 
been looped in from before. And uh, so it would cost us $1,756 per year in April every year. So that's about a little for what, hundred and some dollars a month. Um, on this particular year, as we just gone, we would get a credit of what we paid in before that date because the year was normal of $650. So we are pursuing that. We want to go this close to be. Um, I, I don't think, we, have we done that, Kalina? Have, we, have we, we haven't done any more with that, or have we? Don't we only have to vote? We're, we're, you got to vote it in, and then. Have we, have we got that ready to go, though? That's all set up? Yeah, it's set up, but we still have to vote in. Okay, so we can do that tonight, and then you can move ahead. Is that correct? Right. Okay, then we need to, um, the board needs to approve that linking and that two people program and that cost, okay? And that's all the cost for just putting two computers to work on the right? Right. Okay. So if I could have a motion for that. First, Sheldon, I understand that for two users, it's going to be twenty two nineteen fifty. Yeah, I think um, it says two, two, what's that? Two, 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 two one, users. nine, five. Right. Two seven. So for $717 is the difference. That's what basically will cost us to put a second user on. Yes. Right? Okay. It's, uh, well, no. 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 We would, the, the 221950, I believe if you take that times 80%, which is after your 20% discount, oh, okay. you'll get your 17. I think that yeah. 1756 is the figure oh, okay. that's for two. Okay. I think she didn't give us the figure for one. Okay. Okay. And we also have a credit for, what's the credit? Uh, I mean, the full cost is- Only for this year. Right, Yeah. because we've got part of it paid already. But yeah. Just increase Kalina, am I, am, I'm going to clarify you this. 1756 is every year from now on for two users. Yep. Yes. For two users. The, the, um, what we will get is 650 off of that this year because we get a credit for what we've already paid. Great. Okay. 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 So the 1756 is every year. Every year. Okay. okay. Gotcha. So it's not, it's over 100, but it's not 150. <laughs> Somewhere in between. Okay, any other questions? Any more discussion? Questions? Do you want a motion? Yes. I'll motion, I'll motion to um, update the QuickBooks to a two user system to purchase the licensing of two users. I'll second that. Okay. Uh, Pam? Yes. Um, Arlene? Yes. Don? Yes. And Larry? Yes. Okay. So that passes that one. Then the next uh, consideration is on the purchase and setting up of a website. And um, that kind of came up along with all of this. Um, again, Kalina did some research. And uh, we would like to really use the website more. We talked to a couple of towns that have um, subscribed to this one company that we're looking at. Is that uh, the, um, and remember the name of that? Oh, the, the website. Oh, the website that we were going to. Talk about our domain name. No, the website was. The website that we looked off of is out of Alma, Nebraska. No, that company, was one of the towns. Right. The company that we're trying to go with is Municipal Impact. There you go. That's it's yeah. right under cover. She's right under she's <laughs> under okay. Under. I'm sorry. I went about too far. That's all right. The Municipal Impact is set up just for cities. Correct. And we talked to Alma, which has had it for a while, has a lot of things on it. Um, we felt like it was uh, affordable. easy to get into and out of, and I think even I might be able to figure out how to do it. Um, the, quote, is this 
Is it fully geared or? Cheryl, so I'm asking, down on that. Cheryl, this this uh, seven hundred eighty dollars and forty five cents. That's just uh, a start up, and after we get the start up and everything, then after a year after that, then it's four hundred thirty nine dollars. Is that right. correct? Right, right. Four seven. That, that's what it's like. <coughs> start up. I was trying to see what that thirty nine was, but that's just a discount that is. Okay, so the start up is almost as much as a full year. But it's a one time thing. Right. Okay. So that sets you all up. What they have offered is that they would give a two week tr free trial period. And then um, after, and then you would be up and going. And then in the first 30 days, if you're unhappy, they refund your money. So it's kind of a no brainer. Okay. Okay. Um, and then in t on top of that, then. There's a, um, it's just easier if you have a domain name, so we applied for that, and that's already in the works, okay? So uh, when, if they're going to give you two weeks free, Colleen, I'll ask you since you're the one talking on it. Um, they give you a 14-day free trial. Is that after you have all your information loaded on it? Because how are you going to know if you like it if you don't yeah. have all the information on it? Yep, you, you, you upload everything. It'll be live for 14 mm -hmm. days. And didn't she say it takes about three days to get everything going and then that then they've got it for two weeks? Wasn't that what she said? Yeah, we're AC here. They don't have it up and running in three days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three free. days to get, get the system to go live. You then start to do all the implementing of materials and stuff you want on the website for 14 days of free. And then if you don't like what it looks like, how it works, then you can. Okay. Can I must make a comment? Sure. Uh, the current website's less than two years old. It's completely responsive, current technology. Uh, cost the city nothing to set up because I did it. At this point, it costs the city 50 bucks a year to share hosting with CroftonNebraska.com. I didn't know where it was coming from. Does um, I'm always here. I kind of knew. It was I, I've been in. I've talked to Kathy. Kathy knows the answer. Yeah, a couple times you've been in. I appreciate yeah. that. Why don't you ask? I have nothing against your website, Ken, except the except. I'm not even an except. What we're looking at is that we would have a website that when we opened it, it would be everything that would came out of the city office rather than, you know, the community club. The, 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 the city has its and, own and website. So so the city has its own website. It's city.crofton-nebraska.com. The chamber or the community club's website is not <clears throat> that one. They are two different websites. Okay. I thought at one time you had to go through the other one to get that one. That was two years ago. Now they have their own. Kathy knows how to get into it. Okay, don't scold me, sir. I'm here to answer questions. I have been since you took okay, office. Okay, you've made that point. Thank you. The council can consider that. So I will ask if anybody would like to make a motion for the city to have its own website. Clean, have you worked with both sites? I mean, you haven't, I can't say that you've worked with both, but I mean, you've looked at this proposal here, and have you used the, um, the site that we currently have for the city of Crofton. Have you been I don't on have access to, to that, so, and I, I, I wasn't knowledgeable that you did. So. I know that there is a, is, is it like the city government site? Is that the Crofton website? The that's, city government? that's the city's, yeah. Okay, so no, I have not. I don't know how to access that or to manipulate anything in, inside of, I don't know if that, we have. 
have all the information to actually do the adjustments? Kathy's got it all. I worked with Marla on it. I worked with Kathy on it. Just got to let me know. So what happens if we get stuck and you're not around, Kim? Is there somebody, is there somebody to back up and take over if you're out of town or if you go on vacation or something like that and we need some changes or anything? Well, you guys can, it, the whole point of it is set up so that you can go to any given page and update the information from the office here, so. So it would update only from this computer, is that the way it's set? You can go anywhere. Ah, uh, you can update it from anywhere. Okay. So. Donnie, you, I know you were looking yeah. for at this website or whatever. Well, what I've seen, it, it looks a little easier to use, but in comparison to the prices, it's not that much easier. It's a little bit, uh, this company does a lot of uh, municipal and, uh, websites, and uh, it looks like to me it's a little easier to get in and out of than what we currently have. Could it be possible? for Kalina to maybe uh, access the current one and compare what she's been looking at to sure. it and then give her, because she's the one who's going to be working it, right? You're the one that, that so um, before we go ahead and move on, I would like to see maybe if she would take this one and maybe get a good look at it and see. Because she's been looking at multiple sites. You know, you know what she's looking at and what she, what she would like. Right. I, I know one big thing that um, we would like to, um, would be for us to have alerts, a way to talk to the community, like say if there's a water break, a main break. Now the website that I, um, Municipal Impact, they have um, where people in the community can subscribe to that website and are able to get text messages from you, kind of just like the crossing website. Now is that, can they get that on, can we do that with your, that website as well? Mm -hmm. Your, oh, so kind there of like is a, a subscription where they can like, where we Right, yeah, they'd just be, you'd, you'd install a module so they could sign up to receive text messages or whatever, or however you'd like it, emails. So who has to install the module? We do? Well, I, I can do that, that's not a problem. But is there somebody going to be, you know, say, Kim, you go on vacation for two months and we want to put something on there. <laughs> you might go for two months. I don't know. You know what I'm asking is there somebody that could be, you know, that we could go to besides you if you're not here? Well, I suppose you could find somebody. WordPress is, the, the program is called WordPress. It's, it's a very widespread content management system. So. I'm sure there are people, that, plenty of people that know how to run the back end. And we'd have to designate one person that would be your replacement if you were ever gone. Yeah. Well, well you know, if Kalina knows, if Kathy knows how it all runs, you know, it's, it's just a matter of when there's time to sit down and show them how it all works. What was the name of it, Kim? WordPress. Press as in P R E S. Word, yeah, WordPress. One word or two words? Uh, one word. And, and you said we pay you $50 a month, is that right? No, no you don't pay me, you pay the community club. The, the, the hosting's about $90 a year, and, and the city previously had volunteered to pay 50 bucks a year on the hosting to the community club, and the community club pays the bill. $50 a year, right? Yeah. So, see, when we get involved, at, you know, now the hosting, is that a different thing than the program? That, that is the hosting cost. Yeah. Is 89, is 89 cents. Uh, is that what this is, Don? Yeah. Oh, the same thing? Yeah, this is uh, 497.40 a year. So we're paying $40 a month about there. Not quite. Um, so that's the worst. Not really, if he's only charging $50 a year. No, he said $50 a month. No, a year. A year. A year. A year. Okay. A year. okay. What was the site again, Kim? City what? city.crofton-nebraska.com. Okay. 
and the community club is crofton-nebraska.com. So when we first started this venture, you guys were talking about what, how the easy, whether it was easier to access or not as easy to access, and what, and Kalina, what we were talking about, about actually being able to post uh, things like water usage and the, um, flushing, whatever. So that program then, Kim, our people in the office can go on and do the same thing, is that correct? Yep. So can, um, um, can people question then, get on their phones or on their computer and ask questions through that? Or is it yes. mainly from our information out, but not people then? On, on I'm, I'm not sure I understand what you mean by asking questions. A communication, uh, people are able to find information, are they able to input information in success? Like if, if, if uh, Colleen like posts- Facebook, is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, where it's extra, whatever. Like that. Okay, what kind of information do you want to have them input? Like, I'm just asking if you can. Well, I, I, I got to know what kind of information okay. you, say, you say want to somebody, input. Say if somebody got home and they didn't have their water on, could they go on there and type in there, is there anything wrong with the water today, you know, go to the site? Well, I suppose it could be set up that way. I mean, been using Facebook like that for a long time, I guess. Okay. Well, there's... Apparently there's dobs of options that you can manipulate the program to whatever oh, yeah. you want. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, then maybe we want to um, investigate the WordPress site and see what all it does. Sure. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Tell me what you want and we'll look for what you need and we'll fill around with it. I mean, you can go two clicks and you can change the whole layout of the whole website, so. I mean, it's not, it's not rocket science. Some days it seems it like it, but it's not. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you just cannot look down on us that do not understand this. Okay, we'll table that one. Okay. Um, so we're um, we put Colleen to work pretty quick on the computer. She's pretty good at it. And then whenever she stumbles, we call Don and tell on her. <laughs> So then, um, since we already uh, went ahead and ordered the main name. I already talked about that earlier. Yeah. Did. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Yeah, I think we should just get together with uh, clean a look at the site, get some ideas based on what you know, and then maybe talk with Jim and see if it's feasible or see which site can do what you want it to do. That work for everybody? Okay. Um, okay. Next thing is the uh, consideration of possible action on the appointment of emergency management coordinator. And I found uh, about four or five books scattered throughout the office of different years. Um, I found a county one that I took home and pretty much read from front to back. I, and it is pretty close to the other years. I'm guessing, and then, um, Irma, if I'm right, didn't the county say they're putting together that they're got new ones? There is coming. a new one. We just have to update the town's information. That so that will, be, that will be coming out, and I think they're going to send us four or five books.